During this short video, we're going to show you how to dip paint a difficult to paint object with easily obtainable materials in a very simple process that gives you amazing results cool. with so little work. Keep watching and see how it's done. Under three minutes, you'll know how to do it for yourself. Step one, here we are putting our complicated part which we need to paint on all sides including the inside in a bowl of muriatic acid or in other words what some people call pool acid and we're doing that outdoors because it's very noxious. We're going to let it sit in the acid for approximately 30 minutes and here we see it 30 minutes later where we're going to take the part out of the acid bath. And I really do strongly say do it outdoors. Now we're back in the garage sink. Now what we're gonna do here is thoroughly rinse off the part inside and out. We have very basic water here, so it kind of kills the acid on top of it. Now we dry it off immediately with lots of air so we don't get too much flash rust going on our part. Work this over real well. We have about 130 PSI that we're using to actually blow the part off during this step. It is necessary to get it completely dry at this point before you can go on to your next step of the process. Here you have the next step of the process. We're going to use Exo Rust Direct Metal Paint. We do not need to have a primer. It's oil based as you may have noticed. It's made for painting machinery. We're using part of an old bleach bucket or you know other similar bucket filled with water and notice we're going to use a little can and we're going to dump our paint right in the water. sure to put enough paint in that'll cover your entire object because we're going to dip it into the paint and then down into the water for the actual finish. Here we go dipping our part in. Dip it in real slow because what you're trying to do is paint the part. You don't want to go too fast so that you do miss parts if you go it too fast. Real slow, the paint will stick to the part. The water will do nothing but hold the paint on the surface for you. And as you can see, you get it fully coated all sides everywhere. When we're done here, we set it on a piece of wax paper to dry. Always be sure you use a paint that works well on top of the water. Enamels, Exo Rust example, particularly good working for this. Results paints all sides perfectly, easily at home. <laughs> 